Uh, thank you very much and thank you Cahirlik and I welcome Minister uh, Collins here with us today as well to speak on this. Uh, today has been a day of change, a lot of changes today uh, and this again is one of the major changes as well. Tagta Erin is going to be the brand new funding agency for research and innovation at third level. Um, it is uh, bringing together uh, funding agencies that we have already, Science Foundation Orange, a statutory funding agency and the Irish Research Council and it's important that we see that this new New landmark funding agency is funding all activities and disciplines across all fields of research. Um, you know, it's crucial that the, as has been spoken about here, that this agency is about delivering excellence, um, excellence across all of these fields and supporting excellence, driving excellence by funding, and that's exchequer funding, but also driving funding from Europe, international funding, industry co-funding. It's about getting all of those pots together and that people are investing in Irish research and that there are scientists that are coming to Ireland because we've excellent research, that we've PhD students and masters from all across the world that are deciding to come here because they want to be the top in immunology, they want to be the top in photonics, they want to be the top in behavioural sciences, in psychology, because we do it here and we do it the best here. Um, so for me, this agency, it is crucial that it is driving that level of engagement in the international uh, fields of research across all fields and that may be in arts and science and technology across so many areas we see of course now medicine how crucial that has been most recently of all the the driving of invention and innovation uh, in a very very fast turnaround time when it comes to our vaccines for example um, for me, this is uh, a day of big change because I worked previously in Science Foundation Ireland, so I suppose I have a very personal experience myself with that agency. I mean, that agency is now 20 years old. Um, I remember when that agency started in 2004 and, and Forfoss behind that as well. And Forfoss, of course, been an agency in its own right uh, with a lot of experience, expertise around driving policy, with a lot of economists, of course, that drove a lot of policy that we see here today in terms of the success of Ireland um, as a country, be it across so many areas, but that it is crucial to see how education and the, the ways we have been able to deliver third level education has had such an impact in this country in terms of attracting foreign direct investment here, but also in terms of ourselves, our society, our engagement in our local society, local communities, and also driving entrepreneurship here as well. It's that confidence in this country, I think, has come from education, has come from that belief in ourselves. And I do think that it has driven a lot of the success that we see today across many of our third level institutions and our universities and our young people that are driving that, both here in Ireland and across the country. We talk about our diaspora. Um, I think it is amazing to see that there are so many uh, people uh, from Ireland that are performing in very uh, senior, important roles all across the world in many different agencies in many different countries. Um, and it is, it is thanks, you know, in a lot of ways to the education and I suppose the, what they have learned here in Ireland and the confidence that came with that as well. Um, this new agency, uh, you know, is going to drive that as well. Uh, for me, one of the things that I saw from working in Science Foundation Ireland and I know in uh, the Irish Research Council as well and in many other funding agencies, but that it was bringing something innovative in, in terms of international peer review. Uh, that was absolutely crucial. And I suppose my question here today is, you know, when we were looking at driving excellence and the funding of excellence and the competitive nature around that, um, there was very much an understanding of, you know, bringing in uh, an international understanding to that as well. And I guess that would probably be some of the parts that we look at with this agency around reviewing applications and so on around funding, but just how we drive that international acknowledgement. Um, I know that across the IRC and Science Foundation Ireland and for this agency as well, there'll be certain uh, areas that they'll be looking at and they'll be building on the excellence that's there already in so many different areas. But I would like to sort of see that the, the, what we've seen as successful in those funding agencies is brought forward here as well in the operations part of Tagta Erin. Um, the, the, the importance of these agencies as well is the staff and the quality and the skill set of staff that are employed uh, within these agencies. Each of these agencies, funding agencies, have incredible staff that engage with the universities, who engage at that third level landscape. Um, they have an understanding of the landscape here in Ireland, but they also have an understanding of how to access funding, how to support groups, how to support, uh, you know, excellence in different fields. But that that 
you know, is something that has to continue. Um, I would see that those people that are working as programme advisors within different fields, within Tag to Erin, that they would be absolutely crucial uh, in terms of engagement with our, research, our researchers across the country, uh, both here in Ireland, and I know we'll be building engagements as well uh, in a shared Ireland way with uh, Northern Ireland too. Um, the other parts that I wanted to mention here is, I suppose, that uh, having worked in Science Foundation Ireland, I also had an opportunity to work in the University of Galway, and I had an opportunity to work in the research office there, and I worked with research teams in the university itself. Uh, research is one part of it, of course, you know, driving engagement in exchequer funding and fighting for exchequer funding. I suppose, what would I ask if the Minister, if I might ask, maybe your comments on how we drive more engagement around Horizon Europe funding, how we engage in terms of European funding, um, you know, what are the opportunities that you see for us uh, in the time ahead um, across all of these disciplines? Um, we need more engagement from Tag to Erin in promoting and encouraging and getting funding to have those people in place to promote that funding with their research offices in all of the universities and the institutes, uh, you know, across the the, across the country here. Um, the other part, if I might mention as well, is having worked as in a Horizon um, Europe or a Horizon 2020, sorry, funding application. The importance of multidisciplinary uh, European funding was incredible for showcasing the interdisciplinarity and the multidisciplinarity and the strength then of bringing different disciplines together. Uh, you know, you would have seven or eight countries working together from all different backgrounds, but it also brought companies into the mix. There were usually uh, smaller companies or companies with a particular niche area, but it brought researchers working together with the practical side so that the outcomes of that research would be something that would be practical and that there could be spin outs and that it would be something that could be used straight away, whatever the outcomes of that particular field of research were. Um, I do think that that's absolutely crucial, that engagement with uh, research innovation, uh, venture capital, and being able to drive that sort of rollout of what we achieve in research out into the real world as well. Um, the areas, I suppose, that I might like to ask around the innovation is that Minister, obviously Ireland uh, ranks very highly, we rank very highly in having, is it nearly 60 odd percent of our graduates uh, between the, up to the ages of 24, I think, that have a third level degree. I mean, it's the highest, I think, in, in Europe, I mean, it, globally, it ranks very, very well. Uh, but we also see that we have a lot of engagement, I suppose, as well with our researchers. And I suppose the challenges that I see Having worked as a researcher, I worked as a contract researcher. So I worked in the research office and our universities, we have a lot of contract researchers that work there. And sometimes the challenges are around how we develop those careers long term. And what are the opportunities for people coming through with PhDs and postdocs? Having worked in these, uh, in these research teams, what mechanisms are we putting in place to provide further detail and support around a career development for those groups? That is something that I think we do and Tag to Erin should have uh, more engagement in and support the universities around that as well. So uh, I suppose that we would be looking at, I suppose, how we're going to be supporting students with their PhD stipends, how we're going to be supporting um, our universities and so on in terms of ensuring that our PhD students you know, have clear career structures for them and that that is part of what Tag to Erin is looking at as well. Um, I know, uh, Minister, that we are delighted, of course, to see that we have this new Department of Further Higher Education, Research, Innovation and Science. Um, we're seeing all the changes that are coming from that. This is one of the agencies, obviously the Higher Education Authority as well, the change is there. Uh, but this agency is really going to drive that change. But it's going to be a standard bearer for Ireland. You know, I, I know uh, Senator Crowe here mentioned as well, like how are we going to maintain those reputations, those hard-earned, well-earned reputations. Uh, but we have excellence here in Ireland. I think that you are going from a really high base here, you're going to be able to fly high. But I would see that Tax Erin is going to be a flag bearer, Research Ireland is going to be a flag bearer of what Ireland does in the world. Um, and that has to, that is something that we will, I suppose, be seeing more so as well ourselves. Um, finally, Minister, I suppose just to again welcome this bill, to welcome the bill for Tax Erin to be bringing this new agency into being, that the innovation, that there's the research side and the researchers, but that I would also see the comments that you might have, and maybe again in further debate, around innovation, around how we work with Enterprise Ireland, about how those mechanisms, previously Science Foundation Ireland, of course, was a sister agency with IDA and Enterprise Ireland. You know, there were changes that were made to bring it more into a different, you know, department, it's now part of the department for further education. 
Um, you know, how do we maintain our engagements with the likes of Enterprise Ireland and IDA when it comes to innovation I'm speaking of now specifically, when it comes to pieces of research where you are looking at rolling out, where you are looking at spin-outs from university, where you are looking at venture capital, when you are looking at the ideas of how we support entrepreneurship and innovation in our universities. Uh, Ireland ranks 22nd amongst 132 economies in the Global Innovation Index. Uh, Tag to Erin has a job ahead of them that we see that and we see it go up as well. Gormaga, thank you very much, Gerla.